All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. I like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. Shout out, brothers and sisters. In this truth, I'm your brother, Mr. LJ, coming to you again with another lesson. Lord willing, this will be comforting, edifying to those of you who are tuning in. And today I'm going to start off with the book of Deuteronomy 30, uh, starting with chapter with verse 4. If any of thine be driven out of the utmost part of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy power gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. And the Lord thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possess, and thou shalt possess it. And he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul. That thou mayest live, and this is a promise. This is a promise, uh, a prophecy that's been promised to us that we will inherit the kingdom of heaven. You know, those of us who uh, are persevere through this trial and tribulation here in this kingdom, this wicked kingdom that we're going through right now. Okay, we've been promised this, and the Lord, thy power, will put these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. And I have some video here I want to show you, and, and in this video. We we'll compare what's going on today with these uh, heathen nations and these Edomites and all these other nations that have that have persecuted us over the, the last couple uh, decades uh, and what now they're going through right now. They're starting to experience it. And you know what? They're not really good at actually rising up against their prince the way we have actually been able to uh, do it in this in this wicked kingdom. OK, continuing. And thou shall return and obey the voice of the Lord and do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, and the Lord thy power will make these plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, and in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land for good. For the Lord will again rejoice over thee for good, as he rejoiced over thy fathers. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which are written in this book of the law, and if thou turn unto the Lord thy power with all thy heart, with all thy soul and this is a simple thing uh which is complex which is made complex living in a in a queendom like this because we are here for our test we are continuing right now uh in our sentence you know for um you know our, our transgression against our power you know and our ungrateful behaviors that we've had in our past life and here in this life you know before coming to this truth we've all participated in the wicked queendom's ways of life you know all their abom most of their abomination you know but we have been promised to be redeemed out of this. Now, I'm going to go into Psalms before I bring these videos out to you. Um, and it's going to be a two-minute video, so bear with me. Um, and it says, uh, this is uh, the book of Psalms 49, Psalm verse 11. It says, their inward thought is that their house shall continue forever in their dwelling places to all generation. They call their lands after their own name. And we can see that around here, okay? I mean, this, 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 this wicked man, you know, Everywhere he goes, he, he he leaves a stamp, you know, that, that they were there. You can see their embassies are all over the world. They have military bases all over the world. Um, you know, they, they they have their footprint is always, no matter what. You go to Amazon jungle and they probably have, you know, Esau's statues around and Esau's image and the way they worship, you know, this, this, this wicked devil, you know, and that's around the world. You know, and they call themselves explorers, so to speak. Continue, not nevertheless, man being in honor abideth not. He is like the beasts that perish. This their way is their folly, yet their posterity approve their saying. Salah. Now let's take a look at that word posterity. Okay, and that's P-O-S-T-E-R-I-T-Y. And it means all future generations of people are the descendants of a person. And you can see this proud look in these people's face from the time, of, you know. The silent films all the way to right now, this proud look in these people's face that they are going to continue on forever and ever and ever. And right now, what's going on, this judgment by how by Shim Hao Shai is really throwing them off. They don't know what to do. Continuing. Like sheep, they are laid in the grave. Death shall feed on them, and the upright shall have dominion over them in the morning, and their beauty shall consume in the grave from their dwelling. And this is a future, this is this is coming to to pass as we speak right now, going into the future when we are going to be the rulers in the uh, in the kingdom to come, and we can have our feet on these wicked Edomites and all these other nations, these Hamites, these Elamites, these Moabites, who've been putting us down 
you know, through all their draconian measures, okay? So the draconian measures is not brand new. Now it's just new and it's the buzzword now in the media because now who's being impacted by it? These Edomites, okay? So I'm gonna get into this video. Uh, I'm gonna just bear with me one second here. Um, let me share a video with you, all right? And it's two minutes long, so just uh, just just bear with it. Months earlier, racial tensions in the Deep South had erupted. News reports carried brutal images of fire hoses blasting at the backs of school children. down premises or public places if people are doing the wrong thing and non-compliance can be reported to crime stoppers he's koshi let's get the very latest from our team of reporters amber Adler is in liverpool in south and businesses where people aren't doing the right thing and aren't following the rules and the fines for wearing a mask have increased from $200 to $500. Roughly 300 Defence Force troops are set to be deployed across neighbourhoods in Sydney's west and southwestern suburbs in the coming days to help officers enforce COVID compliance. But Sydney siders are being urged to dob in anyone who isn't doing the right thing. We're being told the next few weeks will be critical in us getting on top of this virus and authorities and much of the public are concerned about another Another potential lockdown protest that is rumoured to be taking place tomorrow. We have been told that vaccination will play a critical role in our free So as you can see there, the world is an uproar. Okay, so that's that's from um, um, part of it is from America, from part of it is from Australia, Europe, different European countries. Now the one in Australia where they have the draconian, the so-called draconian message so high is that they're having people uh, basically, um, you know, uh, calling people out. Okay, or what they call with the snitches, right? They have people calling people. They have they have them calling people out. So when you look at it, and I actually had the video there with Martin Luther Kuhn, uh, who uh, led our people into the uh, to the lion's den, or well, I should call these people the snake's den, okay, and turn our people over to this wicked man here in this trying to do this desegregation, which in fact segregation was really how about Shimei Ashai telling us to stay separate from these wicked ass people. And this reason why right now, when you get together with these people, you have, you produce what? People like Lil Nas and all these other little worthless niggas that are walking around the place here with their pants sagging on their ass, and then these corn, these wicked traitors, these little simp, uh, uh, spineless cowards, you know, with their little suit on in corporate America and whatever part of the well part of Esau life you was in like that. If you're not going to stand up for the word of Yahweh, you man, Shai, you're a punk ass motherfucker. And that's just simply the way it is. And I'm just going to lay it out to you straight just like that. All right. So Yahweh, Shimei Shai is raising up warriors, men that are not afraid. Okay, we're not hiding our faces. We're not disguising our voices. We're not hiding our IP addresses. None of that shit. We're gonna come on and tell you you're going to die, you saw, and that's just the way it is. Yeah, how about Shimei Shah is gonna come down and bring you down, and you're gonna be our slave. Okay, let's go into the Book of Isaiah 33, uh, starting with verse three, and it says, "At the noise of the tumult, the people fled, and at the lifting up of thyself, the nations were scattered, and your spoil should be gathered like the gathering of the caterpillar, as the running to and fro." of locusts shall he run upon them. Now let's take a look at this word tumult. And this word tumult means a loud, confused noise, especially one caused by a large mass of people. Okay, confusion and disorder. So in those videos, and you know, there's hundreds of them like that, but for the time's sake and what I'm bringing out to you, you can see that there's mass or mass confusion, right? Because why? What are people, what are these Edomites doing? They're stocking up food, they're getting weapons ready, you know, their intention right now, those who are resisting the draconian measures, assuming that they're going to go up against the government. And the government has uh, a, a right now sifting through their people, which is the reason why in the military and the police department, FBI, 
all those federal agents and border patrol, all those, they're saying, take the mandate, take the take the vaccination. Why? Because they're going to sift out the people who are going to who are going to follow their orders to go then go murder millions and millions of people. And this is the great tribulation that's going to be coming, especially with you damn Jakes who are who, who are going to have the protection. How about you, Matt Shot? You're not listening, and you want to follow with them like that. I put that video yesterday and tell you you're going to dog on die. All right, and that's just the way it's going to happen. All right. Continuing, the Lord is exalted for he dwelleth on high and he had filled Zion with judgment and righteousness and wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Listen to me. You can have some money. You can have money in the bank, stock, uh, portfolio, 401k and all that stuff. Without, once they start to demonize you, you know what can happen? They can freeze your shit. In fact, there is a, there's actually, uh, and I'll bring it out. Uh, and, uh, next time I have to go really look it back up, but they're, they, they do this at other nations. Okay. You know, and you see them do this with like, uh, you know, like I think it was Pablo Escobar, they freeze all his accounts. So Swiss accounts and all that stuff don't work. And either way you look at it, as you can see in the background there, what's coming up next, huh? You see that hand up there with that little chip in there and all those different things, they're really conditioning us to, you know, uh, well, at least those people out there who are, who are actually really buying into this you know, to get your head scanned. And next thing you know, they're gonna get, they're gonna break this cash to society in and you're gonna get your little potato chips in your dog on hand, you know, and these people are gonna just eat it up because why? They're goats and goats are wicked as hell. All right, they're not sheeps like us. We are the sheeps, okay? And we are the particular sheeps, special sheeps that are for you, how about shim, how shy? Continuing, behold, their valiant ones shall cry without, the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lie waste, the wearfaring man ceases, he had broken the covenant. He had despised the city. He had regarded no man. The earth mourned and languished. Okay, and what is what is that? We can see right now people aren't happy. They're doing what what, what goes against their so-called constitution. Okay, but you can see in the videos that guess what Jake did? Jake tried to march. Jake tried to protest. Jake tried to do whatever it takes. Jake has our name right now. We have slave name. I don't like to ever use my 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 name because you know some people ask me like. You know, where did you get your name from? Because my real name actually sounds like Italian, okay? And I say, no, you know, I, I went to a medical thing one time, I think it was a, a three or four or five years ago. And this lady goes, you have such a beautiful name. Uh, where did you get your name from? And I look right at her, you know, and being the way I am, I said, it came from someone that looked like you, man. One of the slave masters gave me this name, okay? That's how we all got our name. You think, you think, you think this is my true name, okay? This is not my true name. And my true identity, you can see the look on her face like that. It's like, yeah, you don't, you don't really want to step there with me, okay? All right, you really don't want to step there with me. So I'm not one of those that that, that deals that deals like that. I'm gonna just call you the way the way I see it. All right. Continuing, uh, I'm gonna go into the book of Ecclesiastics. Um, bear with me. Ecclesiastes 34, starting with verse 11, it says, "When I travel, I saw many things, and I understand more than I can express. I was oftentimes in danger of death." Yet I was delivered because of these things. And you can think of all the times when in your life, you know, when you feel like you might have been dead. Some of you right now sit down there watching this and include myself. You know what? You didn't even think you was going to live as long as you did. And here you are. You've been preserved for this time. You, Jake, you know, who are in this troop, okay? You brothers, okay? You arch, okay? You've been preserved for this time to go and do what you're doing right now. And, and you sisters also too, okay? You've been selected. Okay, so we're, we're a privileged group to be called by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, our king is coming to get rid of our enemies, to destroy this place here, and have us and give us the, the 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 pleasure of putting our feet on their neck and taking them into captivity. Okay, continuing, the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, for their hope is in Him that saved them. Whosoever fear the Lord shall not fear nor be afraid, for He is His hope, and that's the only hope you live with right, right now. Take a look, you see, you see in the background right there, you know, lashes across our back. What kind of hope do you have inside this wicked queendom? Okay, you go in some place like San Francisco, nine or ten dudes out there are freaking they're going faggots, man. Okay, and that's a law to protect these motherfuckers. Yet still, they'll turn around and beat, beat Jake within an inch of his centimeter of his life just for crossing the road. See, these are punk cowards, okay? And see, they're getting exactly what they deserve right there. And it's gonna come here to America too. And these people are not prepared. Why? Because they've all been spineless. You don't know what the dog gonna do. That's the reason why you walk like a damn goat to go do exactly what this wicked serpent says because you're scared of what? You're scared of death, all right? 
Now, you got a lot of these Edomites, they don't give two shits, all right? They understand what's going on. But a lot of you two-third jakes, you don't. Now, we in this truth, we understand what is happening. The stability of the times is going to be this truth. And that's why we stand firm, brave, and without no flinching. And we give all glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, okay? And salutations, double honor to the teachers of Great Millstone, the brothers and the apostle, okay? That have, that, have, that have led so many of us into this truth, okay? Through the power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and to the brothers that are putting no videos, I salute you, you know? Um, and you brothers and sisters that are tuning in, Shalom. DTA and a Baal Babal. Soon as GMS, Mysteries of the Trilogy Kingdom, always like to mention it, okay? And that's what we're looking for. The structure of this, we know. Shalom.